What do you guys think about my hair? I'm just getting ready to film my nighttime favorites plus a mini pajama haul on my beauty channel and I decided I might as well, you know, be in the mood of like kind of sweet, girly, like bedtime hair. So what do you guys think about this one? It's so cute. <laughs> I just like made it up right now. It's like pretty much like a bubble kind of um, pigtail. I feel like a little girl though, <laughs> but I just used this um, small elastic bands that I got from the dollar store. So I just finished filming and now that I've finished filming, I can actually take off all the little tags on the pajamas and finally put it in the wash and start to wear it. And then I can get rid of my um, old pajamas. But look how sad this is. I have to use a step stool to get up and close this light right here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do in the future because our cabinets go all the way up to like the ceiling. So I'm going to need a higher step stool for sure. But um, yeah, I can finally cut off the tags now. I'm super excited to wear it because they're so cute and everything. So I just have it all laying here and I'm just about to cut the tags off. But before I cut the tags off, I always have to inspect to see if there's any holes or like loose threads or anything. Because if you cut the tags off, then you cannot return it if there's a problem. So I just got home from the grocery store. I picked up this filochini bread here. And this bread's really good if you want to make like steak sandwiches or even just chicken sandwiches and stuff. Alan and I really love this bread, so I went to pick it up. And then um, on my way back, I was like, oh, I smell McDonald's, it smells so good. So I just gave in and I bought a just a small junior chicken. And then I'm just going to eat a pear on this side. And I've been loving this pear lately. Let me see if there's a small one. Um, nope, they're all pretty big. So let's we'll eat that one. It's the, how do you even say this? Dan Anjo, Danjo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing correctly, but I really love that. But I only like it when um, I leave it outside for a couple of days so it softens up and ripens up and kind of sweetens and it just tastes so good. Like after I peel it and everything, this pear is the bomb. I've been liking this more than apples lately. So I'm just editing my vlog right now and usually with the vlogs, I always, um, every time I edit it, I always rewatch it the whole entire thing just to make sure I like edit it fully and didn't do any mistakes or anything and yeah I'm just editing right now and then afterwards I have to put my new video which is the pajama haul and the um, nighttime favorites I have to upload or input it into my laptop and then edit it as well so basically I'm just editing and uploading all afternoon and um, I got dinner ready earlier, so basically for dinner, Alan and I are gonna be ha gonna be having gonna have um, leafy veg. It's just soaking right now, and then we're also gonna have some rice. And in here, we made let's see, we got some salt baked chicken on the side, and also some homemade barbecue pork. And that's gonna be our dinner and Alan's lunch for work tomorrow. And the sauce that we use for our barbecue pork, Ellen just got it at TNT. I wonder if he still has it in here. Let's see. Yeah, that's this one right here. It's just basically the char siu sauce, Chinese barbecue sauce from Lee Kum Ki. And it pretty much tastes like, tastes close enough to the ones they sell um, in stores. So. Definitely check it out if you guys want to make your homemade like barbecue pork. It's really, really delicious. Wow, this guy is so pretty tonight. So guess what we have been doing all like afternoon, I would say. So here's the story. Ellen pretty much like last the last um, hair dresser person didn't do a very good job. As you guys know, in our previous vlogs, um, Alan's old hairdresser kind of moved on and he doesn't work at the same place so he tried a different place and the lady kind of messed up his haircut last time so pretty much all like afternoon we've been driving around Richmond trying to look for like a decent like hair place hair salon so Alan can go cut his hair and we finally found a place that might 
do a good job. I don't know. You, you can't really tell if a hairdresser does a good job or not. You just have to go in and trial and error, right? So we found a place and Alan's in it right now. I'm just parking at the par the McDonald's parking lot waiting for him because the parkade where he's cutting his hair is all full. So hopefully McDonald's doesn't mind. <laughs> but yeah, um, this place looks pretty decent. So we'll see the verdict when he comes out. But poor guys, they always have to... Um, they always have to find like a haircut place because you know guys have to cut their hair like more often so yeah I was I felt so bad for him oh, and after Ellen finishes with his haircut we're gonna head to the berry farm here in Richmond and we're gonna pick some strawberries it's our first time ever picking um, berries by ourselves so it's gonna be a very fun experience and usually when you pick strawberries or even blueberries by yourself it's usually cheaper and they charge you by the weight I remember vlogging for you guys when we got the blueberries it's pretty much that farm and I'm so excited because I've never actually picked berries by myself before so I'll definitely bring you guys along and we'll see how tiring it gets or if it's even worth it but usually right now it's berry season so I'm pretty sure the berries will be nice and juicy and sweet so I'm so excited okay so Alan just returned to the car and the verdict is Alan is sad Aww, how come? Because... <laughs> I think it looks okay. Yeah, but it doesn't look like what I want. She couldn't do it. Really? Turn yeah. around. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. You kind of you look more clean cut. How about the other side? Is this part still sticking out? No, she did that side okay. Mm, it's okay. She has one side so shaved and one side so not shaved. And... You look okay though. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. No! <laughs> Be nice to him! <laughs> I'm already sad. It's so hard to find a person I can cut hair for, not too expensive. Oh, poor Alan. It's okay. I don't want to spend $40 to pay for a haircut. Yeah, Especially I know. Especially since my haircuts only take like 15 minutes. I know. It's okay. On to the next hunt. If you guys know any, if you guys live in Vancouver or Richmond, let us know if you know any good like haircut place. Alan, For twenty dollars. Yeah, Alan's hairstyle is more like kind of. It's not like the normal like shave. You like shave and then cut with scissors or something, right? Let me show you what my hair is supposed to look like. So this is what Alan likes his hair to look like. This was when we were in Hong Kong, right? Yes, that was like the best haircut ever. Yeah, very like... I was so happy with that haircut. <laughs> Every time I go find a new hair, I'm like, can you cut it like this? Yeah. They're like, yes! <laughs> I come back up, it looks like this. I know. It's okay. We'll find one next time. Hopefully. Alan's a serious berry picker. He even brought sunscreen. <laughs> So we got our little box here, and how much is it? Uh, Two dollars per pound. Two dollars per pound, and here's the strawberry field, and I think we're only allowed to go for the first five rows, and you can't cross that yellow caution sign. And he said, um, go further because the berries are bigger, right? Yeah, he said people haven't gone that far yet, but I don't know. Yeah. Looking, looking right here, looks like all the good strawberries are all gone. I know, so we shall see, but they're so cute, look it. Aww, but this one's so small. Strawberries are so cute. <laughs> we have to leap over these little things. Is that one red? No. It's kind of small though. Small is okay. Yeah. As long as they're red, that's okay. We'll Look, hang. the first five minutes we only have two. <laughs> it's not five minutes. The first five minutes took us. We were walking for five minutes. Wow. Maybe I'm not wearing the right shoes. <laughs> I told you. I told you <laughs> this morning when we left, we already knew that we were going to go strawberry picking. And I asked Linda, are you going to wear runners? She's like, no more sandals. Hey, I saw people wearing heels here last time, so I thought like sandals would be okay. And I told her, no, we should bring runners. If you want to wear sandals, that's fine. We'll bring you a change of She's like, no, I want to wear sandals. That's why I'm called a beauty vlogger. I have to look good at all times. <laughs> so remember I told you guys we're not supposed to cross. I don't know if you can see it, but there's this yellow kind of line. And I see this one strawberry right there. It looks so good and juicy. Right there. Holy crap, you rebel! <laughs> Fail. Oh, dirty. I guess. Is it? No, it's not that one, honey. Oh. Right there, that big fat one. Right there. This one. Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. No, it's mushy. Oh. <laughs> no, mushy. I'm gonna alert the strawberry police. Alan has crossed. 
He crossed the yellow line. Strawberry police. So as we're picking the strawberries, I noticed that there's a golfing course or pit and putch or no pit and putch, uh, whatever it's called, <laughs> on the back of this farm. That's interesting. So, so far we've seen a couple um, big ones. Ew, my finger's all dirty with strawberries, but yeah, so far it's been so fun. I can see why Alan doesn't want to like pick blueberries because it takes a really long time and blueberries are so small. <laughs> but tell them what you forgot this morning, hun. Remember? Oh yeah, I forgot to get scissors. <laughs> yeah, because we're picking it with our fingers and Alan like, He's like, oh, I forgot to bring scissors. It would have been so easy. Just like, you know, cut and you don't have to get your hands all dirty and everything. But this is what we got so far. Show them, babe. Doesn't it look nice and juicy and red? So have you guys never seen a strawberry plant up close yet? This is what it looks like. Those are the leaves and the strawberries. You have to push the plants aside and then you reveal nice strawberries. Ooh, this one looks nice and juicy. Is it good? Yes, it is. <laughs> cutie hubby looking for good strawberries this is what the view looks like guys it's so gorgeous here now I can tell why farmers love to be farmers like even though it's hard work and everything it's just so worth it I would be a farmer <laughs> <laughs> having fun honey oh yeah so much fun it is quite fun though mm -hmm. I just wish we had like rice hats or something. <laughs> oh, it's, it's pretty sunny. Yeah. So we just picked two and a half pounds of strawberries. Mm -hmm. So it cost us five dollars. Yeah, all of this was five dollars. And next time we know to bring our own bucket because this was a quarter, right? Yeah. Yeah. And guess what? We're using our cooler. Ooh, cold. <laughs> Feels like a freezer in there. A fridge. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, a fridge. In goes the strawberries. Let's put it over here so it doesn't fall. <laughs> If you guys are wondering which farm we went to, it's the Barack Berry Farms. As I'm walking here, I feel something wet. And what do you know? I stepped on a strawberry and it's all mushed in my feet. That's why you don't wear sandals to go strawberry picking, guys.